Hello, I'm gonna be doing a review today on this two-tier dish rack that I purchased from Amazon uh, myself. It is a uh, two-tier, it does contain four baskets. It was about $39.19, about $40 when I purchased it. One thing I did like about this is that you're able to extend it, so it can go from 25 inches to about 35 inches. Um, however, I feel like the longer you extend it and you add more heavy items, it might collapse on you. I'm not using it for anything too heavy. I do have like cast iron pans. I don't use my uh, cast iron pans that often, so that's gonna be no problem for me. One thing I do wish about this dish track is that I wish it had more baskets or the ability to purchase. I really wanted white, so that was very specific to me and my kitchen. Um, they do have like another option, I believe it's like six baskets. It's really pretty, but it's black and it was just gonna stick out like a sore thumb, so obviously I did not get that. Another thing that I notice is that sometimes when you do wash the dishes, some of the water does uh, fall on your sink. Not a huge deal for me because I have a lot of dish racks and they're, they have like a, uh, some hooks, like S hooks, and you can like hook uh, like your towel to dry it up after. It's not a big deal for me, but however to you, it might be a hassle doing that every single time. I do meal prep once a week and all of my dishes I pretty much wash that day. The rest of the week, it's just grab and go and nothing too crazy. But if you're a family that cooks every single day, which I was, <laughs> um, then definitely this might not be for you because you're gonna constantly be wiping the counters and it can get annoying, but that is up to you. Another thing I did like is that it contained a special section for utensils. Um, there is a section for cups. However, the cups, it's only four, um, four little hooks and I'm a little nervous sometimes because I feel like it might just tilt and fall over. Hasn't happened so far. Uh, another thing that I do like is that it also contained like a little basket which you can um, either put your utensils in there. If you don't like the basket that it comes in, you can put your dish soap, you can put your sponge. However, for me, I have a separate section for that. There is a section for a cutting board. It's not that sturdy. Um, definitely don't put too much weight on it. I only use like one or two cutting boards and it, they're really small so to me it's going to be no problem. Anything bigger than that I can just clean and put to the side like on a towel and it'll be perfectly fine. The basket for the plates holds about 12 dishes and I've only added I think about like 6 or 7 about half the weight limit. Um, I don't want to go too much but again it's just two people in this household um, and my puppy so there's really not much dishes that we're going to use. I try to uh, clear everything out the morning up, wash the dishes at nighttime, clear everything out in the morning. That way we don't accumulate too much. I don't want it to look too cluttered. If it's something that's like one or two, how I have it right now, I'm perfectly fine having it for like a day or two because most likely these are the dishes that we're gonna be continuously using. Overall, I think this is a great buy for $40. If you don't have enough space on your counter, or you just want something to look a little bit more cleaner, definitely purchase an over-the-sink dish rack. Um, you won't regret it. There are so many available out there. This is one of them. I believe when I was searching for them on Amazon, there was like 10 or 15 different varieties, different colors, um, pretty much just like white, silver, black. I did see a blue one out there and there's different like ranges. This is a two tier, there's three tiers, there's even four tiers, there's even one with like a big basket that you can put a plant over it. I really wanted that. I think it was like $100 and it was just not ready to spend that much money on this just yet. This is perfect. Um, I like the see-through aspect of it, so it's not gonna be blocking the window too much. And there's still a little light that goes through it, which I really enjoy it. So I hope you liked my review. If you have any questions, let me know down below. And I'll also be linking this in my Amazon storefront. Bye. Have a good day.